I'm Sean Richardson, and I approve this message. You took my heart and made it your everything. I felt I was on top of the world. I was introduced to music at a really young age. Um, my whole family has been musical. Uh, every sibling on my mom's side has played an instrument, and some have done it professionally. My uncle played with a guy named Michael Martin Murphy, who I actually play with now. And when I was really young, I used to play with Tinker Toys, and I used to build my own instruments out of them and pretend I was playing. So after a year of that kind of went on, my parents decided it was finally time to get a real instrument. They got me a fiddle at four, and I learned how to play that. And uh, more instruments kept stacking up as I got older. And that was kind of my intro to music. We started the band uh, Cats and the Fiddler really young. When we were six, we did our first show. Our neighbors ran the performance. It was like a Friday night music thing, and we got a spot on the bill. And it was really cool for us, and one thing led to another, and people were like, hey, I want to get those kids that played at the gazebo. And ever since then, it just, it sparked. All throughout my middle school years, we were doing 30 shows a year. We were traveling out of state. We had gone to the DMAs, the Detroit Music Awards. We were nominated for an award there, and it got pretty big. We were doing a lot. We played at the Mitt Romney rally back before senior year. And then we also did another really big show for this organization, and it's called Comedy for a Cause. It supports children in need, and that's always, they get a crazy turnout for those shows. So over the years we've had a lot of cool experiences. And then there's also intimate shows too. I like the small acoustic coffee houses, which we're known for playing a lot of. We can really connect with our audience and just have a good time. A lot of our audience knew a lot of our music just because our CD sales were really good. Um, we had radio stations in Germany playing our songs and I mean, a guy wrote me on Facebook from South Africa that has my album. Last summer, my uncle was doing a festival down in Taos, New Mexico. He and Michael happened to be at the same festival, so Michael had caught up with him, and my uncle had learned that he had been looking for a new lead guitar player, mandolin player, you know, of that sort. And my uncle recommended me. I got really excited, and because I grew up on his music, you know, so. I was like, I get to play with the person that inspired me to play music in the first place. So I learned all the material, I got sent DVDs and CDs, and the rest is history. We just did our thing. I'm going to be playing with Michael for, for a while. It's my job right now, but I think as I grow older, I'd really like to make it with my band. We have a lot of connections with Nashville already, and I, I go there probably four times a year. And I've got a lot of people in the industry that want to help me out, and a lot of people have taken a liking to our music. So I think, I think one day, I hope, but I think you'll see Cats in the Fiddle are doing something. I really hope so.